Hey, gang, it's Cage Gribbler, Cody Laveau. And yes, I have read your suggestions. I saw exactly what you wanted after the WAP video. And I am anything if not accommodating. So buckle in, guys. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that may be. Let's talk about sex. Let's talk about sex. Let's talk about sex. Let's talk about Thanks again. I couldn't do it without you, you pervs. So you already read the description. You know we're going to be having a very long, in-depth, and uncomfortable discussion about hippo sex. So as many of you already know, I am a reproductive neuroendocrinologist. It's what I studied in school. It's what I get to do a little bit of here at work. And I gotta say, um, I, there, there were a lot of animals that I could have started off with, but for some reason, I kept coming back to hippos. Could have talked about jumping spiders and their, um, and their very sticky water balloons. I could have talked about bower birds making a pretty blue nest, but for some reason, I just, I kept coming back to hippos. This isn't gonna be some David Attenborough, uh, very light, we're going to discuss the majesty of the hippo as he begins to mount his beloved. Nope, we're gonna get down and dirty with it. You know my style. So hippos basically only communicate uh, with both each other and the world around them with either a wild tailor appeared. So hippos pretty much only interact with each other through violence and sh**. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's gonna be that kind of video. What do you mean, Cody? Like, surely they must have other forms of uh, grunts and communications and nope, just violence and <laughs> So when I first started my very early career into zookeeping, I uh, first started out with reptiles at a zoo, and they were very, very nice to me. And then I moved on, and I ended up working with, uh, quote, small mammals. Now, it turns out small mammals was everything from bats to jaguars to hippos. They told me to make sure to stand behind a concrete barrier because uh, they had some, some logs set up that I could stand behind, and they would walk, like, right next to me. I'm like, I really want to see that. And they're like, no, you should really get behind the concrete barrier. You know, I thought, well, these hippos, they must have, like, these giant teeth. So they, you know, it, 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 it might be a hazard to me. They might try to jam that. Nope, the main hazard from our hippos was coming out the other end. When hippos decide that they need to drop a deuce, they make it everybody's problem. Uh, you've heard the term, uh, the shit hitting the fan. Well, when hippos defecate, they, they spin that tail around. And it's literally like the shit hitting the fan. So when you clean up after a hippo in a zoological environment, you're scrubbing the ceiling. It's, it's disgusting. They get it everywhere. So you let them out, you gotta scrub that out, you put them back in. Now when hippos are in the wild, uh, they generally don't like each other. And you might have seen the pictures of them uh, where there's like these giant herds of just rivers full of hippos. And you're thinking, well, is this some kind of like a social structure? Is it like a big pack? Nope, they're just too lazy to go anywhere. They all just hang out in the same spot, getting in fights. The ladies hang out with the ladies in fight. Uh, the males hang out with the other males and fight, and the males that really don't get along with anybody else hang out by themselves and only rejoin the group in order to get busy. Now, how does a male hippo indicate that he wants to get busy? And more importantly, how does he keep all those other males away from his 10 or so harem of ladies? Well, the answer to both of those questions is, you guessed it, <laughs> The male hippo uh, will just everywhere. Now, when the female wants the male to know that she is receptive, what does she do? You guessed it, right in the water. The male sniffs it, he goes up for a mount, and then promptly, both of them 
fall asleep. Yes, uh, romance. Romance is in the air. But hey, you got to do what you got to do. Life, um, um, finds a way. All right. I forgot I was wearing this. So the only other main form of communication that hippos have is violence. And I mean, they commit violence to each other. They commit violence to anything that has the audacity to want to take a drink out of their poop-filled water. It has the audacity to attack humans. In fact, other than the mosquito, as you probably know, the hippo is the most dangerous animal on the entire continent of Africa. Lions, you wish. Elephants, close. Painted dogs, get out of here with that. Nope, it is the hippo and they are machines. They can chase down boats, y'all. They will aggressively through the water faster than anything you've ever seen. Just by scooting those fat legs, they will gain on a boat and they will jump up, knock it over just because they can. Why? <laughs> you that's why it is a strange and messed up world for hippos but when that final magical moment happens and a cow gives birth to her little baby hippo oh, look how cute it is look at it oh he's terrifying he's already full of hatred the little hippo is born without any gut flora whatsoever so what's the little guy to do does he eat some of that uh, special old lady yogurt? Nope. Eats his mama's poop. And just like that, I brought it around full circle. And now you know the rest of the story. I apologize if that grossed you out. I hope you enjoyed my discussion on the disgustingly fascinating world of hippo reproduction. If you enjoyed this, please let me know, drop a like, subscribe to my channel, keep watching my other videos. Perhaps you want something as a little bit of a palate cleanser, I'll tell you all about why you shouldn't put a bath bomb up your butt. I made that video too. I feel like I'm starting to get pigeonholed a little bit. I'm all right with it. Guys, thank you again. The last video about WAP is uh, blowing up by my standards. And I love each and every one of you for watching that. You're incredible. I can't wait to see you next week. We're going to find something awesome to talk about. Love you guys. Later. Hip. Hip hop. Hip hop anonymous. Damn you. You get him the easy ones.